You know, we really came here with high hopes. We did a lot of work to the cars with Formula Drift and how things change and flow. It's important to stay competitive and it's important to keep up with the class. My front end's all different. My motor essentially is different. The chassis this season is, is revamped and yes, it's better, it's more competitive, but that still doesn't really give me that much advantage if I don't practice it. The cars are up and running and it's a week before Atlanta and we're testing and it's going really good on my end. So now it's just more about my commitment and me nailing my lines and being confident. It's been a huge blessing to have Fortunato come out here and support our program. We're working with Matt at Fortunato on our coilover setups so he's working on just you know rebound, compression, spring rates. I've got a lot of room to improve on you know, the feedback and how to work with Fortunato, um, but overall it, it was pretty consistent as far as feeling the changes and uh, you know adapting to them. It's, it, it felt really natural to come out here and, and start testing, and I think after this second day of testing, I got really comfortable and I'm ready to potentially get another testing day in and then go to Road Atlanta. That, that time just goes quick. I'm on a new WiseFab front end. I really struggled with how it reacts and, and I struggled with timing and uh, how to actually steer the car in throttle. If I'm not comfortable in the car and it starts raining, there's only so much we can do. Because we're not sure if we're moving forward or if we're moving back. It was a tough weekend. It was a tough weekend and uh, you can aim really high. You know, going into this weekend, we, we aimed high. You know, we want to come here and we want to win. And, we want to show the Pro 2 class that we put in work and we, we're trying to make this happen. And I know myself and Kevin Lawrence and Josh McGuire and everybody within Juku Racing, we're all really trying to make this happen. So when you have a tough weekend of racing, you just got to put your head down and get back to work. And uh, that's pretty much what we're going to do. You know, we're, we're not pumped on the weekend's results, but we're not crushed by it either. So thanks for everybody for the support. And uh, that's kind of where we're at been saying I, I just can't wait till it's all on me and it finally is so I'm, I'm glad to say that the motor package is sorted the cooling is sorted the, the suspension feels really great and uh, you know we have Fortunato on board and they make adjustments that we actually can can account for and we can understand this event was just kind of all on me getting used to the car and the new setup and the new front end and uh, with minimal practice I didn't adapt as quickly as I wanted to and uh, that's kind of sort of the outline of the weekend. So I had a pretty tough one and it went really fast. Um, but like I said, you know, we know it's a negative, but we're not crushed by it. So, you know, we've studied some footage and we know where we're at. And on the positive note, we're going back to Claremont, Florida, and we're going to make adjustments to the car. And we're going to go testing and then go testing and then go testing. And 
uh, hopefully we'll see you guys in Orlando, which will be our hometown, and uh, we'll come back swinging.